Welcome back to my Dragon Quest XI S playthrough for the Nintendo Switch. In the last episode, we beat a giant squid on our way to finding the orbs to help us continue on our adventure. We met a mermaid uh, in the last episode or two that had a, you know, a husband-to-be named Kai. And apparently Kai is from this village at Lanolulu. We helped the villagers defeat the squid, and now we're about to head to a celebratory banquet as we look for Kai in Lanolulu. So let's go ahead and find the banquet, maybe, is it in here? Is it that person with the... Oh, there's Jade. Okay, let's go talk to her for a second. I've asked around about Kai, but nobody around here has been... or has seen him. Seems he's not much of a party person. Michelle's still waiting for us back on that island. We should try to track him down as soon as we can. Well, Jade, as you lounge doing nothing, I guess I will... I will do it. Okay. Ah, oh, stuck on rocks! Stuck on rocks! Ooh. Guess I don't have to find him after all. The cutscene will do it for me. And where do you think you're going? You're off to look for Kai, aren't you? Well, I'm coming with you. Jade, I just talked to you. You know, you know, you know about this. Oh, hello, Veronica. What are you doing out here? Fisherman said the party was only for grown-ups, so they couldn't let me in. Is every bar in the world full of stubborn idiots or something? God loves Veronica's charm. You're going to look for Kai, aren't you? I've got nothing better to do, so I might as well join you. And the party grows. I like how... My party members have to have nothing to do in order to help me, as opposed to be like, we're on the same team, this is our goal, this was our mission. What is with that boy? Here we are having the biggest luau in generation, and Kai still won't join in. Made some excuse about having to go down to the dock to fix his friend's boat. I love how Kai is so mysterious, I wonder if he's not going to be who we think he is by the end of it all. So we're going to go on this crazy network of docks, which they probably shouldn't have made it like this, because one, one little blow of a typhoon or tornado and all comes falling down. Now where are you, Kai? Is this you? It has to be you. Uh, no, you're just a guy that beat the tentacle. You're looking for a guy called Kai? Sure, that's me. Kai Nui to my mom, but everyone else is calling me Kai. What do you want? You're Kai? Okay. I skipped all your texts on accident then. Didn't think it was you. Sorry, but I'm not the man from your story. You must have me mixed up with somebody else. Hm. Don't give us that nonsense. We know you're the only Kai in Lonolulu. If you never meant to marry that poor mermaid, you should never have proposed to her. Hey, go easy on the accusations, will you? People here got no love for mermaids. If they think I do, I'll be in trouble. The Kai you're looking for is my grandfather, Kai Noah. I take it you've heard the tale of the mermaid's curse? Uh, yes, I have. Yes, yes, your mother told us all about it. But I can't see what an old fairy tale has to do with anything. You can't keep Michelle waiting any longer. Veronica, put two and two together, my dear friend. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's <laughs> not a fairy tale, it's true. The fisherman from the story? That was my tutu, my grandpa. <gasps> it all happened 50 years ago, and it happened just like my ma tells it. But the story didn't end there. Dun dun dun. Years after grandpa got chased out of the village. The Kahuna's daughter, Leilani, she married another man, and they had a kid together. After the baby came, the people started to forget about Kainoa and the curse the mermaid put on him. Till one day. Another great storm struck, even more violent than the one that sent my grandfather to the bottom of the sea. The Kahuna's boat went down, and him and his daughter's new husband went with it. The men who survived went to break the news to Leilani. But when they got there, her and the baby, they were nowhere to be found. 
The villagers said it was the mermaid's revenge, that she took all four of them because she couldn't have Kainoa. So they lit torches and they marched to Saikiki Beach to confront him. When they threw open the door of his hut, they couldn't believe what they saw. He'd been living all alone for the last 10 years, but there he was with a baby in his arms. And the baby, it was dripping with water. They ran off screaming, talking about how he must have had a kid with the mermaid. And that was the last time anyone from the village went to Saikiki. Wait, but that baby must have been your mother, which would mean she was half mermaid, which would make you... Cooly cooly, don't even say it. My mother is a human being. My grandpa found her abandoned on the beach and raised her as his own. He never had a kid with a mermaid. That's just a stupid rumor made up by a bunch of superstitious fishermen. If that mermaid really is still out there somewhere waiting for Grandpa, there's something I want you to give her. Meet me on Saikiki Beach. It's on the other side of the cape. You can get there through the chapel at the back of the village. I'll leave the door unlocked. I think we really hit a nerve talking about his mom and him being part mermaid because everyone hates hates a mermaid in this in this village. You know, who would have thought that little mermaid was so vicious was something not to be talked about. Please let me jump off. Come on, Dragon Quest. Let me jump off for once. Oh, I'll get that shiny thing later. So right now we're gonna head through the church in Lalulu to Saikiki Beach and meet with Kai. Uh, let's go talk to Serena. A fisherman ran up to the church just now. He looked very upset. I do hope it's not another inquiry. Oh, was that Kai? How strange. I thought he'd be pleased to hear that Michelle was still thinking about him, but he looked rather gloomy. Well, Serena, as you're all figuring out, there's a huge prejudice against... Uh, against mermaids here. I mean, they all hate them. Hate them with a passion. So if I'm correct, this is the church, this woman right there. To the chapel. Or am I not finding it? Oh. Perhaps it is down here. Uh, find out on the next episode of I Continuously Get Lost. Where, oh, where should I go? Ahaha. Ha. Alright, so let's go to Sakiki Beach. That's all the way north. Take a right right here. Up and up and up we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. Okay, to the right. I swear, traversing the maps in this, it's, it's not difficult because you always kind of know where you're going to end up. You know where the destination is. It is marked on the map. But I cannot for the life of me, as you already know, you've been watching my playthrough videos uh, of this game, I can never find where I need to go. But here we are. I sure love me some smoked fish. If that's so, have you ever tried it with Graham? This is what you... Grandpa? Come on. My son just passed through here. He always been a quiet boy, but he looked like he was biting his lip more than ever. That probably hurts. The door leads to Sakiki Beats. It's home to the village graveyard, where the souls that departed are returned to the ocean. Kainua always hated that place. Why would he go there now? Grandpa, if you're looking for Kai, you just missed him. He was a moment ago, straight through without saying hello. He looked upset. You two act like you don't know what's going on. Well, eh. Mom doesn't, but, uh... Our grandpa should know. Kai was just called a mermaid lover. Worse than that, he was called part mermaid. Of course he's not gonna... 
like that when mermaids are feared. I'm going to do this area without a map. Let's go running all willy-nilly crazy up this pathway. Uh, nice view for sure. Looks dangerous with the rocks. He's probably inside of this building. This veil was my tutus. Ma said when she found him after he died, he was just lying there holding on to it. Guess there was a reason I never threw it away. If you really know where to find that mermaid, I want you to take it to her and tell her he's dead. All right, Kai. That's that's great. Wally receives the lover's veil. Look. I'm sorry if I was kind of short with you back there, but it hasn't been easy for me and my ma. After Grandpa died, they let her go back to the village and marry a local guy, but it didn't stop folks talking. But she rose above it, turned it into that story show of hers, and now that's how she makes her living. She's a smart woman, tough too. I hate that mermaid for what she's put us through. And I don't want my kids to suffer like we have. The kahuna is finally letting me sail with the other men. The curse is nearly undone. Please, take the veil and let that be an end to it. Man, this sucks for his entire family. Just think about that. This is a curse going on for generations, affecting his grandfather, his mother, himself, and... It took his mom to kind of uh, change the narrative of the curse, and it's taken him to kind of basically ignore it, to try to re... Uh, what is it called? Integrate with his community. Like, this is a pretty deep story if you think about it. Freaking mermaids. Always messing with land, land people. Return to the Strand and give the Lover's Veil to Michelle. That is our current objective. How do we get off of this crazy, crazy island? Uh, looks like my boat is on the entire other end. So through the magic of editing, I'll be there right now. And here we are. We made it back. I did do a little bit of equipment purchasing in between that, that magical uh, editing technique. But let's see what Dave has to say, or Dave, I'm sorry. The rest of the gang are back on board, ready to get sailing. Shall we go? Yes, we shall. So I'm going to be a little bit more pumped up, a little bit more equipped. Have a little, you know, new new armor. I can take better hits, bigger hits, and hopefully do a little bit more damage with my main team. And what I like to do is just equip the party members that I am using. Instead of my entire team, so I won't waste money. Return to the Strand and give the Lover's Veil to Michelle. Is the Lover's Strand, like, all the way over there? Because if it is, that's a far way to travel. Here we are, back at the Strand. Are we going to disembark? Sure we are. That's the main point. Hopefully giving this veil to the mermaid would stop her from mermaiding generations of this family. Uh, I have a feeling she might go crazy. Let's hope she doesn't. Hello, Miss Mermaid. Don't eat us. Don't curse us. We're here. Hello again, my friend. I'm so happy, so happy you returned. It's been so long since you went off. I got a bit concerned. I worried that your ship had sunk, or Kai had gone away. That's why I'm singing happy songs, to keep my tears at bay. But you don't need to know that. Seriously, shut up, Shell. The only thing that matters now is that you're safe and well. So tell me, did you find my Kai? Is he as well as ever? Is he on his way to meet me here so we can be here together? Uh, he, he dead. Lie to Michelle and tell her that Kai is coming to meet her? Yet yeah, no. We're telling you the truth, Miss Mermaid. Wally tells Michelle the truth. My Kai is dead. That can't be true. I don't believe a word. It's ludicrous, ridiculous, preposterous, absurd. Hold on a minute. What's the thing you're holding in your hand? A net of pearls and seashells on pretty coral band. While I give Michelle the lover's veil, maybe this will remind you. You say my Kai made this veil to wear when we were wed and clutched it as he passed away. You're saying that he's dead? Yeah, he's pretty much not coming back. No, please no, it can't be so. I know he'd never break that promise that he had to me. There must be some mistake. Okay, Michelle, when you die, that is not breaking a promise. You just die. That's how life is. Like, no one's breaking a promise to you. Think of him. Stop thinking of yourself, Michelle. 
How could I have passed away? I nursed him back to health. I simply won't believe it until I found out myself. You need to see his bones? I don't get this. I need to meet the Kai you met and hear it straight from him. Take me to Lanalulu, you can sell and I can swim. What's that? Why don't I come aboard? Oh thanks, you're very kind, but there's a lot to think about. I'll follow on behind. So now I have to go and uh, back on the, the seas. And I'm not going to finish rhyming this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to rhyme. Alright. Wally and his friends sail back to Lanalulu. They drop anchor in the waters of Sakiki Beach to keep Michelle from the eyes of the fearful fishermen. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. She, she can't get too close or things are going to be a little bit crazy. I am glad that they teleported us though. That's really nice. It's a long distance between the Strand and, and Saikiki Beach. If the locals see a mermaid, it'll fill their hearts with fear. I'll hide on this abandoned beach and wait for Kai right here. I'm sorry to keep asking, but this is my final plea. Would you please find that monument and bring him back to me? Alright, since you rhyme so nicely, let's check out this. What is this? Pick up a crimson coral. Maybe we can use that in the future. That's a good hiding place. No one's going to see your pink little hair. <laughs> All right. Going back up these steps I love so much. Kai. Hello? Hello? Door is locked. Where art thou, Kai? Maybe you're back in the village. Ooh. Look. Uh, adventuring around places, they pay off. Find a mini metal. I don't know what they're for, but I sure am collecting them. So yeah, definitely we'll head back into the village and see if we can find Kai. Let's bet right now. Do you Are you going to bet that there's something else is getting in the way, like Kai's being attacked by something, he went away somewhere? Or are we actually going to be able to end this quest and find him in the village where he should be? In his home. But before we do that, break the pots. Always break the pot. Sometimes you get things, sometimes you don't, and now I just broke a pot for no reason. Alright, Kai, where are you? Where are you? Kai's house? It seems like you're there. There's a pink little dot. Where am I? On the totally other end of town. Gotta say, though, this is a really cool little village built in... You know, built on a beach, but more importantly, built in nature. They did not disturb nature as much as they could have, so that's really nice to see. Again, the docks are just laughable, just how they built those, they're just so funny. I believe this is Kai's house up here. Oh yep, found him. What's up Kai? So you give that mermaid the veil, yeah better yet, she's here my friend. Uh, Mahalo, thanks friend, sorry for making you take care of that for me, I should do something for you in return. Picks up your ship, go get your some pearls maybe, I'll just say the word. Actually, I need to go meet the mermaid. You want to go to Saikiki Beach with you? Why would you want to go to a lonesome place like that? Well, if you're sure that's all you want, I guess I promise I promise. Lead the way. So wait, are we are we lying to him? So we opted not to lie to the mermaid, but we're lying to Kai. Hmm. I don't know if our priorities are in the right place, but... Mm, let me think this one over. I'm guessing the team thought that Kai wouldn't come with us if he knew that it was the mermaid waiting. So I'm guessing the only way to get him to come, I guess it's not a lie, it's more of a, what's it called? Leaving out the truth. We just didn't tell him. Ignorance is bliss. What are you about? Oh, I don't remember you being here. Is that a sign that there's going to be a huge fight with this mermaid up ahead? Hmm. I'm going to think adventurous, right? I'm going to think that the mermaid's going to turn into a beast or summon another squid, attack Kai, and then we'll have to save him. That's where my mind goes when I'm playing this. Alright. Here we go. Why have you brought me here? <sighs> that voice! It's music to my ears! I feel like I could cry. Oh, darling, tell me, is it you? My one and only Kai? Yeah, I'm Kai. Do I know you? Oh. What? 
You're a mermaid. Oh, silly me. I'm always far too quick to jump for joy. You don't know me. I don't know you. You're not my darling boy. No, I'm not. The man you loved, he was my grandfather. But he's not here anymore. My darling Kai, my one true love, the one that I adored. You died alone and friendless on this cold and windswept shore. Oh, how could I forget we mermaids live 500 years? Quick as a flash, a human life just ups and disappears. Without Kai, hours seem to pass too slowly to be true. But now I see cruel time was flowing faster than I knew. <sighs> Thanks for finding Kai for me. You've been a proper friend. To trace my love across the sea until the bitter end. I said I would reward you, and I mean to pay that debt. You'll find your prize upon the self-same island where we met. I'm sorry I can't come along and see you on your way. But now I'm here, I can't go back. I think I have to stay. Michelle sings a bewitching melody that reverberates off the cliffs above. What the heck? I can't stop thinking I've seen her somewhere before. Of course, Grandpa's cabin. <laughs> this is like the saddest thing that I've ever, ever did see.
I I'm speechless right now. That's all I can say. I'm very speechless. Oh man, this is this game's way way too deep than anyone would probably think it is, but it really is. That was a very touching tale. The mermaid came back, walked on land, knowing that she was gonna kill herself just to be able to touch the grave of her loved one. That's that's pretty crazy. Gotta give it to her. She went back in the water because once you become a human and you, I guess, try to go back into the water, you just die. Uh, which, that sucks. But now Kai has something that reminds him of her inside his granddad's ca cabin. But we'll find out what that is in the next video. Let me know what you think about the events of this episode in the comments. Do you like this whole mermaid storyline? This mermaid twist and turns? Let me know. I want to read all about them. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble, and I'll see you in the next episode.